The alien encounter that the Vatican and the U.S. had with extraterrestrials, according to researcher Christopho Barbato, I'm translating this from Greek from a Greek article. This is very strange. This is not the first time we've heard things like this. Much has been said, and many more have been written, about the Pope and the Vatican State, but what makes the difference are some revelations about the Holy See's contact, and in particular the Pope, with extraterrestrial aliens. Cristofo, Cristoforo Barbato was born in Naples in 1972. He's an Italian independent UFO researcher. He has worked and written for various UFO magazines, and for many years, he was a member of the Italian Centro Ufologico Nazionale, the, uh, U the National UFO Research Center. He's well known for his work and research on UFOs and unexplained phenomena. And according to uh, an Italian magazine, in the year 2000, he received several emails from a person who initially concluded that he was um, through the Vatican. The informa information he received was shocking, so much so that they exceeded the limits of anybody's imagination. At first he was very cautious with him, and after a year of email contacts, the man revealed that he belonged to the Vatican secret services, Servizio Informazione del Vaticano, the Vatican has a secret service, that's where this guy belonged. And he belonged to the Jesuit order and was working for the Holy See. Cristoforo Barbato demanded a meeting with him as a prerequisite for the contacts to continue between them. The two meetings took place in a public place in Rome in 2001, and Barbato made sure that his contact, quote unquote, was not mythical, but that he had information and indeed much more than what he had mentioned in the exchanged emails. In 2001, the contact gave Cristoforo Barbato a videotape, first shown in Pescara, Italy on April 30th, 2005, and it contained two-minute shots of a deep space planet, the supposed 10th planet, or Nibiru, or Planet X, or Planet 9, or Wormwood, or Nemesis, or whatever you want to call it. So it was a two-minute shot of deep space planet Nibiru, or Planet X, while approaching the solar system. The video was filmed by a secret spaceship called Siloe, S-I-L-O-E. The video was filmed by the secret spaceship Siloe. The spacecraft was equipped with a sophisticated infrared camera system, and assembled in the well-known and mysterious area of Area 51 in Nevada of the United States. The images were from October 1995 through a secret radio telescope hidden in an unused oil field in Alaska, wholly managed by some Jesuits belonging to the aforementioned Vatican Secret Service, SIV. The radio telescope, the source added, was installed in 1990 to observe some anomalies of celestial bodies at the ends of the solar system. The source assured Barbato that the first contact with aliens, President Eisenhower on February 20th, 1954, at Muroc Airfield Base, in the presence of James Francis McIntyre, Bishop of Los Angeles, the Catholic bishop, bishop of Los Angeles, that is. And after this incredible event, McIntyre flew to Rome to inform Pope Pius XII, who decided to set up the SIV in order to receive all possible information about the aliens and their interaction with the U.S. government. Since then, Bishop McIntyre and Archbishop of Detroit, Edward Mooney, have become key liaisons between the U.S. and the Vatican State. Later members of the SIV came into contact with Nordic beings from the Pleiades. These friendly aliens warned of another rather hostile alien 
uh, ET race that met with the Americans in the Californian desert. These meetings between the SIV and the aliens occurred mainly on American soil. However, two meetings were held at the Vatican Gardens at the Papal Academy of Sciences in the presence of Pope Pius XII. All of this had a secretum omega rating equivalent to NATO's cosmic top secret. All this was published in the Italian bi-monthly UFO Notiziario magazine, number 62, April to May 2006, along with some video frames. And since then, the issue has taken on a dimension and there are not many revelations that have been made in order to reach the general public. Of course, the Catholic Church officially denies the existence of the ministry. I'll leave a link below for you so you can watch the um, one and a half minute video of this thing. It's black and white. It's by Mark Est, and I'll read the description. He says, in 1995, shooting from the space shuttle Hercobolus Siloe, Silo, the Vatican sent into space on space shuttle Shiloh, Shiloh was launched from a secret base in the U.S. The objective of the ship was approaching Shiloh, Silo, Hercobolus, Hercobolus, and photographs, and once the first phase of the mission, the ship reverted back to Shiloh, the course and came to Earth to transmit its images to the base space observation of the Vatican in Alaska, which began to receive information in October, Shiloh, 1995. Cristoforo Barbato wrote an important article about the secrets of Fatima, focusing on the mystery of the third secret not revealed. And researching it, he was contacted by someone who claimed to be a Jesuit priest working for the Vatican Intelligence Service, IMS, and had important information to reveal Barbato was skeptical at first, but the Jesuit was persistent, and as Barbato was able to verify all your personal details, finally, all his personal details, he finally met in public with this person in a place in Rome. At that meeting, the Jesuit gave Barbato a significant amount of information about the return of Hercolibus, which was being carefully tracked by the Vatican and others. I guess Hercolibus is another name for... Uh, Planet X or Nibiru, or Nemesis or Wormwood, whatever you want to call it. Hercolibus is what uh, some Latin American astronomer used to call it, I remember. So that's what they're referring to here, Hercolibus, uh, which was being carefully tracked by the Vatican's and others, and handed Barbato a videotape of two minutes never before publicly shown. The Jesuit said that he was... Uh, he shot uh, a range of Hercolibus, uh, a range of Hercolibus fence. I think it's translated from another language. That's why I'm reading it. It does make sense. Uh, from a space shuttle controlled by the Vatican called Siloam, the uh, pool of Shiloh, Siloam. So uh, I'll leave links below for you for this. You can see it, and please tell me what you think. Uh, there are those who believe that there are uh, various uh, space forces out there, various uh, celestial bodies that perhaps we're not being told about, or uh, the fact that, of course, uh, Planet X or Nibiru or Hercolibus, whatever you want to call it, is coming, uh, makes a, a is, could be our binary star or makes a return trip every 300, 600 years or so. Anyway, tell me what you think after you watch this um, very short one and a half minute video. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on 
not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.